What's up, Jaycationers? We are here at the Camp Nou, up front in the entrance. I just wanted to talk to you guys about when you come to visit Barcelona, how to get tickets. Once you do get your tickets, how do you enter the facility? How do you find your seats? And what the process of getting to the stadium and doing your whole experience on match day is. We're here at the FC Barcelona exhibition, which is across the street from Sagrada Familia. It's totally free. There's also a store down here. I want to tell you guys about the Filipino soccer player that plays in the 1920s, who set a bunch of records that Messi's currently breaking right now. Just trying to find something about him. Let's see if we can find it. Unfortunately, I didn't find any information about Paulino Alcantara here, but the FC Barcelona exhibition does offer free displays and exhibitions of jerseys and posters. All right, JKationers, we are back here at Camp Nou. Gonna I'm gonna tell you guys a little story. Besides me, Mr. Phil Akanish, where is there a link with FC Barcelona in history with a Filipino and Spanish? I'll tell you guys inside. In order to get to Camp Nou from the center of the city, there's three stops on line three that you can get off at. Les Courts is the first one. The second one is Maria Cristina. I get off at Palau Real. I just prefer it because you basically just walk downhill and it's a straight shot to the Camp Nou. It's not hard on the other ways either, but this was just the way I prefer. But when you walk through it, you go through like the university area and then you see some soccer pitches, some practice facilities, and this is where like the kids play on the weekends. The grounds of Camp Nou offer many sporting events throughout the year, including FC Barcelona basketball, the FC Barcelona women's team, and Barcelona B. Camp Nou is actually going through a renovation. They're gonna put a roof on over the entire area of the stand so fans won't get wet when it rains. And it doesn't really matter because it doesn't rain that much here in Barcelona. But when it does, they won't get wet. The field will get wet because it's still an outdoor stadium, but they're gonna add a few thousand more seats and this is gonna be like built in phases for over the next five to six years, I feel. front of Camp Nou, I wanted to talk to you guys about the connection between Filipino and Spanish cultures. Now it took me a while to figure this out but I, I read up on it and there was a soccer player, he was Filipino and Spanish in the 1900s when Barcelona just started. 1899 was their first year. He was born in Iloilo, Philippines. His name is Paulino Alcantara. His dad is a, was a Spanish officer and his mom was from Iloilo. And uh, at the age of three, he moved here to Barcelona. He grew up playing youth soccer even that early in the 1900s. He was actually not supposed to even play for FC Barcelona. He was supposed to play for another club. But Juan Gamper, the gentleman who created FC Barcelona, convinced him to play for FC Barcelona. And he became the youngest player in FC Barcelona history to score a goal at 15 years old. That is awesome. I don't think he played here at the Camp Nou. I, he played over at the Industrial Stadium where they came up with the term Kules. The Kules are the names of die-hard, rampant FC Barcelona fans. A Kules is basically your butt, your ass, and um, at the old stadium, they used to have benches. And then at the top of the stadium, when you're walking in the streets, all you can see are straight rows of FC Barcelona fans' asses lined up with their butt crack shown and everything and they got nicknamed the term Kules from that. Paulino Alcantara is Filipino and Spanish and he's one of the greats in the FC Barcelona history. He also became a doctor after he played football and he coached the Spanish national team. How much of a trip is that that a Filipino Spanish football player uh, made history in FC Barcelona. That trips me out till this day. What's up, Jaycationers? We are here at the Camp Nou, up front in the entrance. I just wanted to talk to you guys about when you come to visit Barcelona, how to get tickets. Once you do get your tickets, how do you enter the facility? How do you find your seats? And what the process of getting to the stadium and doing your whole experience on match day is. So uh, I went to the game with my buddy Alex at Tickets Barcelona. Just watch this video and you'll find out how to get into the stadium with your ticket, 
find your seat and enjoy your experience here at the Camp Nou. What's up Jaycationers? Three games left in the Barca season. We're headed over to Camp Nou for the final time to beat up Alex. Yeah, they play three more times. They win the next three, they go undefeated. What's up, bro? What's up, buddy? Hey, let's you go doing, to man? the stadium. Let's go, let's go. All right, guys, so like I explained last time, on your ticket, on your card, it's going to say uh, the access number. It's just going to be the access number closest to your seat. So when you look at your card and it says access one, access two, like follow that access number, which is closest to your seat. But if not, you can, you can enter through any access, but that just gives you the one that's in the closest vicinity of your seat. Monica and Sonia will serve as our tour guides on how you get to your seats, so first things first. At the access gate, they will ask you for one of two things, a member ID pass or a single game ticket. Now don't worry if your face isn't on the member ID pass, they just want to make sure that you have a ticket to the game and you're using that member's ticket. If you don't have neither, they won't let you in. You will only use a member ID pass if you're using the ticket of a seasoned member. At the end of the match, you'll have to return the pass to its rightful owner. <laughs> Next, you will enter through the porta or door number that's displayed on your ticket. If you have a member ID, your second card will be used to scan you in. If you have a single match ticket, use that to scan in. Once your ticket is scanned and you're inside the new camp, you're gonna look for your boca or the section where your seat will be. You can also use this time to go to the restroom, pick up some food over in the concourse, or go to your seats, take some pictures, and enjoy the scenery of the Camp Nou. Finally, take your seats and enjoy the match. Visca Barça! <laughs> Thanks to Alex, he upgraded our seats about five rows from the pitch where we were up close and personal with all the players. <laughs> Two nothing, Coutinho, Paulinho, it's all Brazil tonight. you that don't know, Andres Iniesta is uh, leaving Barca at the end of the year. Uh, so we're just paying homage to him. The fans are paying homage to Iniesta. Want to go the extra mile and enjoy more? Learn Barca's chants throughout the game. So Sonia is saying, this is to clarify it, that uh, we're drinking beers but there's no alcohol in it right now. Very good guys. Uh, yeah, zero point, zero percent. Even La Liga games, you can't, you can't drink alcohol. That's it, game over. 4-1 Barca. So that's how you get to your seat on match day at the Camp Nou. Now we head over to the Nike Mega Store. So behind me is the new color scheme for the third kits in 2018 for FC Barcelona. And they are actually inspired by the Le Jample district and the way the grid of the map looks like. And you'll see it um, on the jersey. It's awesome. Uh, and I still need to get myself one. But I'll wait till I get home because I got that hookup. guys so we're leaving Camp Nou until 2019 Camp Nou see you next year just had to pay a quick visit and uh, do a couple of vlogs over there but yeah we're gonna head back towards the center of the city we got a lot more filming to do today so just got to get back man 
I'm walking the same exact route I used to go to go home from the metro. I don't know, it makes it feel uh, reminiscent of the two years uh, that I've been living here. I love the city. I'll always be coming back here. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about how to get tickets to the match day, visit Tickets Barcelona on Instagram or just message me and I'll connect you with Alex. And if you have any questions for me about you know how to get to the game, anything FC Barcelona related, please comment below. But yes, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. If you're just new to this channel, I have a lot of content coming up. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios, mga coolies. Uh, uh.